Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today we are hanging out with Edwin Arlo, who if you don't remember is one of the older children from our 10 children household. I'm currently doing, I guess a little bit of a let's play following the lives of the children. The last let's play I did was to find out how difficult it was to raise 10 children in The Sims 4. We did that, we have 10 kids, they all went to college. But that wasn't enough for me. I want to see this family get even bigger. So in the last episode, we focused on the two older girls, Sophie and Erica. So Sophie is not married, but she's with Travis Scott and they have two children, Sean and Shanna. And then Erica is married to Julia Wright and they've adopted two children, Freddie and Sheena. So yeah, basically the whole point of this Let's Play is to go through all these kids and try and make this family tree as big as it can possibly be. We want grandkids. We didn't go through all that, did we, Claire? So Edwin is the last of the first set of triplets. So he lives in Windenburg. I did say in the last episode, I'm going to have each set of children live in a different world. So after we're done with the triplets, we'll move on to the twins, which I think is Polly and Peter. So this is Edwin's house. He's got quite a nice house. He's got himself a distinguished degree. He graduated with honours in biology. He doesn't have a job yet, but I think we're going to get a job in fitness. Edwin's house is a bit more of a bachelor pad because my plan for Edwin is kind of a bit less wholesome. You probably notice he's got one bedroom here with like a few toddler beds. I don't really think Edwin is going to be the type to settle down. He's kind of like a little bit of a Don Lothario man about town. So his story isn't going to be finding his soulmate, having kids and getting married. Edwin instead is going to have a few, a few girlfriends. He's going to have more than one baby mama. His house is not built for a family. His house is built for him and then an extra bedroom here for when he has his kids every other week. It's almost nine o'clock. I do like to try and get my sims established in some way with the job or an aspiration, but I kind of feel like with Edwin, because we've got quite a few sims to shag, probably a good idea that we get out and meet people. It does say in his aspiration that he wants to work out at a gym venue anyway. So let's go to the gym, see if we can meet some ladies, and then see if we can achieve the first page of our aspiration. Two birds, one stone, eh Edwin? Harbour Quarter Gym? Let's head there. But yeah, I think with Edwin, I'd be happy with three children, with three baby mamas. Okay, this place is looking pretty empty. I'd say let's go and work out and we'll wait for the ladies to turn up. I put his house on the little island near like the bro household because I kind of feel like he'd fit in pretty well with the bros. Where are you going? I told you to work out over there. Oh, hang on. Oh, I think I see someone. Okay, let's go and uh, postpone. Postpone our workout, introduce ourselves to Becca. Maybe we'll work out next to her. Hey, Becca, how's it going? Is she walking away? Or, no, okay, she wants to talk to me. I think she's feeling a spark. Ask her about her day. Just make some small talk, enthuse about fitness. Let's just do a, a quick workout, see if we can still chat while we're doing a little run on the treadmill. Quite a few ladies here, actually. I like your leggings there, Becca. Uh, okay, speak to you later. Okay, let's work out, and then that way we can tick off... Oh, there we go. Milestone complete. Well, that was pretty quick. Oh, there's another sim here. Introduce myself to her as well. I might meet all, all the ladies here at the gym. We've got Becca. We've got this this lady here. What's her name? Kalamenu. Discuss interests. Oh, I think we've got good compatibility as well. Good compatibility. Okay, sweet, sweet. Of course, we don't want to neglect Becca. We'll go tell a few jokes to Becca. And uh, maybe we'll meet, we'll meet lady number three over here. I see there's Jenna. I see there's Jenna. She's a possibility, although she is married, which isn't... I mean, I'm not averse to it, but it's not ideal. What about this sim here? She seems all right, don't she? Let's go and say hello to her. She's got some tats. She seems like a badass, babe. Talk about three birds, one stone. This is some serious multitasking we've got going on here. I don't think she fancies me, though. Ah, oh, that's all right. I'm sure you'll change your mind. Okay, the gym, I think, really is the best place to meet a few friends. Oh no, this sim is mean. Okay, probably probably we should try and just work on one relationship at a time. So let's get the mean girl. We'll do her first, get her out of the way. Apparently they're having an unpleasant conversation. <laughs> she dislikes fitness. Why are you at the fucking gym then? 
Okay, well, they're having a pleasant conversation. So I'm thinking if we try and get into, like, the funny, tell a few jokes, then probably we could take things a bit flirty with Mean Girl. Oh, no, she's fucking off. Okay, fine. Well, Edwin, let's go home, and then we'll invite some people over. See, he's already thinking about his baby mamas. Why are you going this way to go home? Why did you do that? Sims, man. Hmm, I just realised it's like 2am, so maybe we should just go to bed. And then we'll call some of those ladies over in the morning. Make the most of sleeping alone tonight, Edwin. It'll be a rarity. Okay, we're a bit hungry. Let's invite Mean Girl over. And then we'll just get a quick meal. Just some animal crackers. Here she is, okay. Edwin, you're going to you're gonna invite her in, or is she just going to stand behind the door? He's just taking his sweet time. He's like, no, no, I will wash up my bowl first. Edwin, come on, you're being rude. Okay, we do kind of need a shower, but you know what? That's It's not urgent. Mean girl won't mind. I mean, she's not really, not really liking my vibe. Trying to make light of the situation, trying to make some jokes, and she's just not really having any of it. Maybe let's try a risque question and just see if we can, like, establish some kind of romantic relationship. Oh, that didn't go down well. Oh, shit. She's also non-committal. Well, that's fine, babe. I'm not asking you to commit. Okay, let's ask her if she's single. And she is. Okay, okay. Try flirt. Oh, no, don't flirt now. It's an unpleasant conversation. Oh, fuck's sake, mean girl. Why are you so mean? I mean, I am going to have a kid with this sim, but she's a fucking bitch, man. I almost feel like I want to walk away, but I've just, I've put so much effort in at this point. I mean, this girl's meant to be my friend. Why is she slapping around my teddy bear? I swear, visitors should not be allowed to do this. Oh, it's already lunchtime, and I've got virtually nowhere with this sim. She's just such an asshole. What if I give her a romantic gift? Like some... Like a photo of herself. Could that help? Okay, I think that went down well. Let's try another romantic gift then. Let's just give her all of the photos we took of her. Okay, I may have found a workaround. Now that the photo thing doesn't work, we're actually starting to get a romantic relationship now. Okay, what if we try flirting now? I mean, it is still an awkward encounter though. Oh, but she's given me a rose. Okay. I think, I think we've just made it work. So the photo thing still does work. It's just this time, take a load of photos and give them as gifts. Ah, oh, there's always a workaround. Can I move in with you? Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, oh, no. There's got to be space here for the other ladies as well. I'm sorry. Okay, I think we can go for our first kiss. I'm going to go ahead and... Can I, like, affect her fertility from here? I don't think so. But I can change his fertility. We'll set his fertility rate at five. So he's super fertile. Okay, cool, cool. Try for pregnancy? I mean, you've been here since this morning and it's now 3 p.m. This is long overdue. Yeah, yeah, stop waffling on. Should we go upstairs or...? All right, sweet, success. So they're going to try for a baby, and then once you're done, Edwin, probably a good idea to take a shower, and then we'll see if Becca's free. Okay, yeah, we definitely need a shower now. I'm just going to check that this chick is pregnant. Oh, she's not. No, you shouldn't be going now. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. We'll, um, we'll invite Becca over. I don't know why my sims aren't getting pregnant as quickly, but that's fine. We'll start working on Becca then. And here she is. Here she is. Hopefully she's a little bit more easygoing than Mean Girl, but we'll see. I mean, she's already heading to the bedroom, so that's a great sign, isn't it? Okay, we'll tell her a few jokes. We'll try and build up her friendship. And then we'll just gift her a load of photos of herself. Okay, we'll take some photos. Then we'll try the old gift trick again. I think she liked her gift. Yeah, she is a bit more laid back than Mean Girl. Becca might be my favourite so far. Oh, now she's giving us a rose. Okay, it's an amorous exchange. Already having our first kiss. Too soon to try for a baby? Not now, Pete. You're kind of cock-blocking me a bit now, mate. Okay, try for pregnancy with Becca. I mean, we're not really friends, but that's not necessary. Okay, what do we need? Another shower and some food. All right, Becca, are you pregnant? No, what the fuck? Try for a pregnancy again, try again. 
All right, Becca, how about now? Still not pregnant. And now she's leaving. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't really know what, what more I need to do. We'll get a quick meal and then we'll invite this sim over. Because then at least we've got, like, we've got three that we can just try on a rotational basis. But I don't understand why these sims are not getting knocked up. But here's the other sim. He's already a bit tired, so I'm just going to try and move fast with this one. Let's let's try the photo thing. Oh, what a great photo. <laughs> All right, let's try giving a romantic gift. It looks like... Okay, so I'm pretty sure the romantic gift... If you give them a photo, it always goes down well. That's what I'm finding here. Here's a picture of my front door. Okay, then maybe we'll try kissing her hand. Because our, our romance bar is pretty high. I mean, we're basically acquaintances, but... <laughs> but she is in a flirty mood, so that did the job. Oh, she didn't let me kiss her hand, though. Oh, dear. I don't think I gave enough romantic gifts. How's a how's another photo going to go down now that it's an awkward encounter? Okay, it still seems to be going down well, so that's good. Oh, she's loyal. Oh, well, that's good. That's, that's a nice trait to have. She's offering me a rose. Maybe we'll offer her a rose. But she said no. Oh, for fuck's sake, why? Still an awkward encounter, though. It's not really drifting away from an uh, awkward encounter. Maybe we'll ask about her love life. Just try and take things out of the awkward stage, maybe? Okay, I guess that didn't that didn't work so well. Oh, fuck's sake, she's getting going now, too. Oh, okay, well, night one, completely unsuccessful. Well, not completely. We do have, like, a good relationship with all of them. Like, a good romantic one, at least. But, man, I really thought I'd have three pregnancies by now. But you know what? It's love day. Think Today, things change. We're just going to do them all in a row. So let's start with Mean Girl. Get Mean Girl over here. Okay. Try for pregnancy. She's still flirty, so that's good. All right, sweet. Five minutes in. Job done. Okay, sweet. She's pregnant. You know what? I'm going to put her in her third trimester. Because we've already wasted a few days trying to pull these ladies. So then we'll just send her home. And then we'll invite Becca over. Nice to see you, mean girl. Wish you all the best. Send breakup letter. Why is Becca all the way over there? Can we just do try for pregnancy, though? Try for pregnancy with Becca? Are you going to go all the way to where she is to go and ask her to come back to the bedroom? <laughs> she said yes, though, so at least it got her in the house. Okay, let's see. Hopefully we have better luck this time. We've kind of been struggling to conceive with these sims i think it might be because of the relationship and pregnancy overhaul because these ladies aren't in my household i can't change their fertility okay any luck this time any luck no okay well let's try again why are you working out edwin you've got a workout area right here okay yes yeah, she is pregnant another girl all right we'll put her we'll put her in her third trimester send her on her way and then we will call up the last of the bunch I mean, the third one we've got a good relationship romantically with, but on a personal level, I don't think she really likes us very much, but I don't know. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. I don't think we even got to, like, first kiss levels with this one. Here she comes. All right, what kind of mood is she in? Flirty. Okay, already it's suggestive. That's good news. So let's go for our first kiss and then see if we can try for a baby. Oh. Uh, yeah, I mean, our friend's relationship is actually in the red, but... Fuck it, let's try for a pregnancy anyway. It'll be a roller coaster ride. And I want a ticket. We all like something a bit unpredictable every now and again, don't we? This sim, she can be my wild card. Okay, no protection was used. I'm gonna hold off on taking a shower yet, Edwin. I just wanna have a quick look. Cause your success rate hasn't been too great this video. Yeah, no. Oh, she already has children. She's got one child. But she's not married, so, you know, try again. Try for pregnancy again. Oh, she's still not pregnant. And we smell pretty bad. Fuck it, let's try again. We'll try again. We're still a bit whiffy, but you know what? If she refuses to get pregnant, we're just gonna... We're just gonna have to keep going. Okay, yeah, she is pregnant. One boy. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna send her home. I think we've done all we need to do on the, uh, the family, the reproductive side. So you know what? 
take a shower, Edwin, we'll take care of your needs, we'll get you a job, and then we'll start working on you as an individual now. So take a nice shower. Oh, there goes, there goes my girl, my feisty girl. And then I might just treat you to an actual meal for once. Oh, bodybuilder. Now hiring champion bodybuilder. Well, yeah, I think so. I think so. So we've basically started at level seven of the athlete career. Very nice. Edwin's been awarded a signing bonus. Oh, Edwin, check you out. Oh, Claire's calling. Hey, honey, it's mum. When are you going to come visit? I put all my love and effort into raising you. You can at least drop by once in a while. <laughs> I'll visit tomorrow. God, so clingy, Claire. You've got nine other children. All right, let's have um, chicken slider. Do you have any cooking skills at all? Oh, cooking level two. Okay. Well, we're doing pretty well on the job front. So I suppose maybe we could do a little bit of work on your aspiration while we wait for the, the babies to be born. We need to own two pieces of workout equipment. Well, we've got a bit of money in the bank. I'm sure we could probably afford like a treadmill or something. Oh, maybe a punching bag. We could put a punching bag outside. There we go. You enjoy your sliders, Edwin. You earned that. You worked bloody hard these last few days. Automatically goes to clean up. Didn't even need me to tell him to. That's a boy that was raised right. Okay, so I'm thinking, how about we do a little workout? Because um, that might get us energized. Or you know what? I might even just get myself an energized potion. I mean, why not? 200. 200 points. That's not too bad. Have your energized potion. And then we'll do a little workout. Push the limits for one hour while energized. Okay. Okay. Heavy lifting. Push the limits. You just got to do it for one hour, Edwin. Oh, level five of the fitness skill. Yeah, I think we are grossly uh, underqualified for this job. We've got nowhere near the amount of skills we need, but, you know, I'm not going to argue with it. Milestone complete. Okay. We're on the third page of our aspiration. Oh, he's thinking about his sister. I mean, really, there's not much else to do with you, Edwin. So I'm just going to let you enjoy your day until we start getting notifications of some babies being born. Oh, we got our first phone call from Becca. I wanted to let you know that I had Cassandra, a beautiful baby girl. Ah, So I imagine it'll only be a matter of a few hours before we get the next few phone calls. Go on, Edwin, take a shower. Oh, wait, another one was born, Caitlin. I guess mean girl didn't feel the need to let me know that Caitlin's been born. Okay, cool, cool, so we're just waiting for baby number three now. Oh, phone's ringing. <gasps> wanted to let you know that I had River, a beautiful baby boy. Congratulations, Edwin. Well, I think I'm going to leave Edwin's story here. I think the parents, or the grandparents, shall I say, have done well so far. Seven grandchildren from their ten kids. That's only from the first set of triplets. So I guess in the next episode, we'll see what Peter and Polly get up to. Hopefully they grow the family even more. I want to try and get them all to have children around the same time so that they're all like the same age. So, so far, this is looking pretty good. We've got a lot of babies, which means eventually we'll have lots of children. But on that note, I'm going to end Edwin's video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you please go. like and subscribe. Yeah, you know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.